Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. Before we get into this video, I wanted to show you guys this awesome cup that AVR Labs sent out for us. Really cool. They've got a whole merch shop full of different swag, but I wanted to show you guys this because this came in at perfect timing. We're just about to film our second Skyglass video, which you're watching right now. Uh, and they sent this out. So I got to give a big thank you and shout out to AVR Labs. Literally the best customer support in the business. They're always willing to help. And they sent out this awesome mug, which will definitely be on my desk uh, every day now. So AVR Labs, check them out. Let's get right into the video. All right, guys, let's jump straight into Skyglass here. Now, if you watched our previous video, you guys will know how much we loved using Skyglass as a aviation intelligence tool. And today I want to show you guys the program again. Uh, it's been a couple months. I'm running this off of my MacBook Pro and it has sped up dramatically. Not only that, it uses a less power and it's way smoother than it used to be. Like, look at this buttery smooth scrolling. It is fantastic now. First thing you're probably going to notice is I've got all the military aircraft up as well as a couple of celebrities on the watch list. Here is my watch list and you can see Oprah Winfrey's jet is up. Eric Prince and Elon Musk uh, are all up in the air right now. I just clicked on this trace button right here to see Oprah Winfrey. It looks like she came from Hawaii, touched down in California and is now back, whoops, back up in the air, uh, headed to... I'm not sure where she's headed to. Looks like she stopped in Colorado and is coming back. So uh, that's Oprah Winfrey for you. Uh, here is Elon Musk. Uh, there's his jet right here. He just left out of California. Not sure where he's going, but uh, there he goes. So this is just a really cool tool to see what's going on in the skies. And the amount of data that you guys can put into here is just outstanding. Seriously, bar none, uh, the best intelligence tool on the market for tracking flights. ADSB Exchange is great if you just want to hop in there and take a quick look. But for something, if you want to dig deeper into an aircraft's positions, this is the way to do it. If I use two fingers, I can swipe and go around like this and get an idea of how far up these aircraft are. I can use this slider right here to kind of signify how high up they are. Me personally, I usually like it right about here. It's about perfect to distinguish uh, how high up these flights are. This guy, it's a high flyer. That's got to be... What is that one? It says up at 55,000 feet. Uh, so that's got to be a drone or something, maybe a balloon. Uh, let's see what's down here. This is at about 4,600 feet. And you can see that all up here. So here's a C-17. This is the UK. It's traveling at 438 knots right here. You can see uh, it is steady at 35,000 feet. Um, and let's see where it's going. So here is the trace on this one. Looks like it came from UK, landed over here in, what is that, Georgia? And then went to Turkey and now it's back up. So that's what that one's doing. Very interesting to see. Not sure where it's going right now. Looks like it's going maybe to Cairo. Couldn't tell you where it's going, but he's all over the place. Of course, you don't have to just track military aircraft. So if I go over here and I filter out, uh, let's get rid of the military ones. If we just want to see what's on my watch list, this is the best way to do that. It gets rid of all the military and just shows you what's on your watch list. This is what I use a lot uh, if I'm trying to look for something in particular, but I often like to see what's going on with our military as well because it's just interesting you can change your auto refresh time i find that 15 seconds works great for this amount of aircraft on the screen uh, for my macbook but if you have you know something that's a little lower end and doesn't have the processing power go ahead and bump that up to you know 95 seconds even all the way up to two minutes here uh, just so you don't get uh, your computer lagged out, especially if you have a bunch of traces up, you're going to want to uh, set that to a little higher of a level. Now, piggybacking off of our last video here, uh, a lot of the controls remain the same. You can see they've been uh, rearranged just a bit. It's a little bit easier to get an idea of what everything does when you hover over it. Uh, the words pop up a little quicker and everything just looks more polished. If I wanted to do a quick burn, so if I didn't want to wait the full 120 seconds, I could just click this right here and it will refresh right away. Uh, but I'm going to stick that back down to 15 seconds because I like that interval. Of course, you can just toggle off auto refresh altogether right here, but I like to have that on. Now, if I want to just toggle off military only mode, I can do that right now. That's completely off. It's not going to show any military jets. Let's go ahead and put that back on. Now, this button down here is pretty important um, because sometimes these traces can be pretty CPU intensive. So if I click that and then I click on one of these jets, it's not going to show me the trace. But if I do click this, it will show me the trace when I click on that little icon. There we go. It just loaded. And I guess, was this one, was this one Oprah's? Yeah, this one was Oprah's. So yeah, that's just a pro tip. If you guys notice that uh, your computer's lagging out, just turn that off altogether and it will get rid of the traces. Me personally, I like to have them on. I think it's so interesting to see where these planes have been and how high up they go. Like you can really get that 3D view. Uh, let's go ahead and get this one going. And just see how high it went and you know what it did. It's just very interesting stuff. Now, while you're doing this and you're tracking these, I highly recommend keeping the sweeper on because this will get rid of any of the old aircraft that are on here that haven't updated. And it'll just unclutter the screen a little bit. Definitely keep that one on. Let's do a full refresh here. Let's go ahead and get the military aircraft back in. 
Uh, and let's just say you're, you know, you're checking out some stuff and all of a sudden your computer kind of freezes up. Go ahead, hit this stop button. It will stop all loading events. And then you can hit this burn button and it'll refresh everything. So if something was amiss, this will go ahead and fix it for you. Um, that is something that occasionally does have to happen. Um, but let's go ahead and get everything back up on the screen. Of course, this is worldwide, so uh, you can track anything anywhere at any time. Uh, you just have to wait for them to load up here. Now, I highly recommend watching our other video. Uh, I'll have it linked down below uh, if you haven't already seen it because I, I go into a lot more detail on some of these buttons. For all intents and purposes, this is the way that I have it set every day when I'm taking a look at what's going on. And it's just a much more fun way to look at aviation. So the best way I like to describe Skyglass is if you're just looking up a quick aircraft and you wanna see what's overhead or you know something going on, use ADSB Exchange for that. But if you wanna sit down and actually analyze what's going on around you, what the military's doing, Doing, uh, what's going on with celebrities, stuff like that, where they're headed to. That's where Skyglass comes to the rescue because it just puts every single tool you could possibly want into one easy to use place. I mean, if you wanted to see where this C-17 is going, because it looks like uh, it's going over Florida in just a minute here. Uh, it looks like it came from, interesting, off the coast of Venezuela. So if you are curious about what the heck's going on, I mean, this is something to look at that you know, you might have missed that otherwise. Seeing these traces is so helpful and it's a game changer for sure. So anyways, guys, definitely check out Skyglass if you are interested in aviation intelligence. I mean, this is the, this is the tool. There's nothing else like it on the market. You can look, but you won't find anything. This is just on another level. But anyways, that's all I got for this one, guys. Links down below if you wanna watch our other video. Also links to AVR Labs merch shop if you guys wanna get yourself a cup. That's all I got for this one. If you liked the video, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.